Now question number six is that two small blocks of three kg and one kg are attached to opposite ends of an ideal spring. The spring constant K is given 300 Newton per meter as shown in the figure. The natural frequency of the system is approximately. Now, student, what happens when you pull them apart? So the restoring force come toward the mean position. So as the restoring force come towards the mean position, it will bring together and then again they start oscillating. So both are approaching and both are moving. And to find the natural frequency, therefore its time period is what? T is equal to 2 pi m effective by k effective. And what were the frequency? So frequency is 1.2 pi and k by the effective mass. Now in this case when these are oscillating together then effective mass is calculated by this formula that is 1 by m1 plus 1 by m2. So what is the effective mass? So effective mass become equal to product 3 into 1 over 3 plus 1. So that is equal to 3 by 4 kg we have to fill here. So what is frequency? 1.2 pi and what is the k? The k is given 300 and your effective mass is 3 by 4. So this become equal to 1.2 pi and 4 goes up. So 400 root that is 20. So this is equal to 10.5 hertz. That should be the answer. And 10 upon pi is 3 point approximately 3.2 hertz. So nearest number is 3. Therefore the correct option is third answer. Now the question number 7 says that velocity versus time graph for a particle executing SHM is shown below. The maximum acceleration of the particle. Now look at the diagram. The maximum velocity of the particle. Here is the value. And that is equal to 8 meter per second. Now how will you find that time period? Then see from here to here. That is from point 0.2 to point 0.6 is the half of the time period. So you have, therefore the time period is equal to 0.4. Double up that one. That is equal to 0.8 seconds. Right? This is the information from the graph. Now the maximum acceleration, what is the maximum acceleration? So maximum acceleration is equal to omega square into A. And what would the maximum velocity? Maximum velocity is equal to omega into A. And I have the given V maximum. So I divide A maximum divided by V maximum. And that when you divide, you get omega. Now what is omega? Omega is equal to 2 pi by T. T means 0.8. And A maximum you have to search. So A maximum is equal to 220 pi by 8 into V max. That is equal to 8. So you get the answer. 20 pi meter per second square. Look at the option. The option number 4 is 20 pi meter per second square. So answer to this question is option number 4. The question number 8 says that acceleration due to gravity of the planet is one fourth that of Earth. What is the period of oscillation of simple pendulum on this planet if it is 2 seconds on the earth? See, the time period on earth is given equal to 2 seconds and which is equal to 2 pi L upon G on earth and root. Now, on another planet, this time you have to search, this is 2 pi, L remains same and G is given equal to 1 fourth, that is equal to G by 4. So, that is equal to 2 into 2 pi root of L by G and this is equal to 2 time the original time T and that is equal to 2 and T is given equal to 2. So the time period will be 4 seconds. Therefore the option to this is the fourth option. Let's go to question number 9 it says that a particle is performing SHM according to the equation y is equal to a sin omega t plus pi by 3. The average speed of the particle in the time interval t0 to t is equal to capital D. That is average speed you have to calculate over the complete cycle. And dear student, what is the formula for average speed? That is total distance by total time. And now you see when particle goes to extreme, it is A, back it is A, then A and then A. Therefore, the total distance cover is 4A. And what is T? That is equal to 2 pi by omega. And omega is given here in the equation. So that is equal to 4a into omega upon 2 pi. And that is equal to 2 omega a upon pi. So let's search the option. 
yes option number 4 is 2 omega a1 by so answer to this question is 4 option now the question number 10 is a particle is subjected to two simple harmonic motion along x axis and y axis simultaneously according to the equation x is 3 sin of 2 pi t and y is equal to 4 cos 2 pi t and see both have the same frequency so one wave is approaching from x axis and second is approaching from y axis and see what you get here that sin of 2 pi t is equal to x by 3 from the first equation and what what cos of 2 pi t so cos of 2 pi t is equal to y upon 4 now dear student do you know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is always equal to 1 that means this square plus this square that is sin square 2 pi t plus cos square 2 pi t is equal to 1 and fill the value here sin square by t this is x by 3 square plus y upon 4 square is equal to 1 so that is x square by 9 plus y square by 16 is equal to 1 now you know this is an equation of ellipse so the correct option is the first option